Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today I have part 3 of fragrances I recommend under $50 for the perfect Christmas gift. Part 1 and 2 is already posted and I will leave on screen for you to check out if you are interested. Let's get into these 6 fragrances I have for you. The first one is Moschino Gold Fresh Couture. I know a lot of people are familiar with this one. They're known for the Windex bottle shape. It's beautiful. This one is in the 3.4 fluid ounce. The only thing you have to take off the cap like that, it doesn't spray like that. So this one is um, a floral fruity fragrance. Top notes are pear, mango, white peach, rhubarb leaf, grapefruit, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are Jasmine Orchid and Lily of the Valley. Base notes are Vanilla, Akigala Wood, Musk, Sandalwood, and Patchouli. It opens up with the Lily of the Valley to me. Orchid and some um, fruity notes. Then, after that, the Juicy Pear and Mango steps out. There is a slight woody note present throughout, but it gets bolder as the fragrance evolves. The dry down is a beautiful woody note wrapped in vanilla, in like sweet vanilla, but the sweetness is not cloyingly sweet and it's very addictive. It's great performance on skin, but even better on clothes. And you will definitely, definitely get compliments. And for me, I feel like it's more of an evening scent. But you can wear your scent whenever you like. But I just feel like there's a little bit more depth to it that's more suitable for the nights. So yeah, that's the first one that I would recommend. Next up is Ebony Wood, Ebony Wood from Zara. I did get this in the travel size to play around with, but it's beautiful. I think I'm going to get the full size when I'm finished with this one. This one is a woody, spicy, unisex fragrance with just, with just three notes of ebony, cloves, and pink pepper. It's just so good. This is sweet and warm with a little bit of spice. It's perfect for this time of the year and it gives off a very, very cozy vibe. It's I, I think this one, the full size is like 30 something dollars. I think I paid, um, I'll leave the price on the screen how much I paid for it. I forgot how much, but it's very, very, very affordable. Next up is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. Packaging is, <laughs> looks like a bomb. <laughs> this is a Shiper Fruity Fragrance. Now this one, this one I got a lot of compliments on. I had to put that out there first. A whole lot of compliments. Top notes are pear, mandarin orange, and green notes. Middle note is orchid. Base notes are toffee and patchouli. It opens up very seductive to me. And then as it dries down, it gets warmer and creamier from the toffee. This can be a beast mode fragrance if you overspray. So all you need is like one or two. But if you want to go bold and big, then overspray, girl. Um, the main notes in, in, in here are the toffee, pear, and patchouli. So I know a lot of people aren't big fans of patchouli. If you can get your hands on it to try it, if you go to Sephora or to try it, don't knock it, try it first. But yeah, sweet, juicy, love it. Love, love, love it. Next up is The Only One by Dolce & Gabbana and this is the Intense. Love, love, love the packaging. This looks sophisticated to me because of the black and the black with the gold writing. It just screams sophistication. It's beautiful, really, really beautiful. I don't know if I said it before. This is the one fluid ounce. This one is an amber floral fragrance. Top notes are Neroli, green apple, and Italian mandarin. Middle notes are jasmine, coconut, and orange um, blossom. Base notes are vanilla, cashmere wood, and cedar. When I tell you this smells so so freaking good this one 
is out of the six that I have here, this is my number one. Like, highly, highly, highly recommend this one. This is a crowd pleaser. I get a lot of compliments on this one as well. Beautiful. I have to show you. It's the first I shake Crystal Noir. I have this is in the one flow dance as well. Now, this was in my declutter bin after I blind bought this in the fall. However, it grew on me. The scent changed when I first smell it. Like, when I was going through, I made a declutter video I could put on screen if you wanted to check it out. When I, while I was doing the video, I tried the fragrance and it changed. And I was like, oh my God, no. No, 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 no. Why is it changing? And it's still here with me and now it's in a recommendation video. So, um, yeah. This is an amber floral fragrance. Top notes are pepper, ginger, and cardamom. Middle notes are coconut, gardenia, orange blossom, and peony. And the base notes are sandalwood, musk, and amber. This one is coconutty if that's a word spicy cool smelling peppery evening fragrance <laughs> and that's the best way i can um describe it it's so good and um i don't i don't know how else to tell you but this is so 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 good highly highly recommend as well you will love it and the last one I have for you is Casablanca from the House of Swiss Arabian. Now this one is an amber, it's an amber unisex fragrance. The top notes are green apple and grapes. Middle notes are white woods, patchouli, and iris. Base notes are caramel, am, amber, suede, musk, and Peru balsam. Now if you love caramel apple, then get this one. Like straight up caramel apple very much at first spray i got a blast of juicy green apples then like five minutes after the caramel starts to come forward and then that caramel and the apple note is just delicious it's just juicy caramel apple on the dry down the caramel gets warm but slight fruity it's, it stays a little bit fruity and then like it gets so yummy it just it just juicy fruity sweet warm a little bit it's an addictive gourmand the um the full dry down gets a bit woody and a bit musky but it's still so good so guys do you own any of these scents share your thoughts with me in the comments below also please like and subscribe to my channel and until next time take care